That assistance is $3.9 billion in federal aid. It'll be used to stabilize the unemployment system, beef up emergency relief programs, to reopen schools and expand broadband. Calling it an historic day, Governor Hogan and State House presiding officers announced details of their bipartisan agreement on how to use $3.9 billion federal relief dollars to help those most in need. With today's announcement, Maryland has once again shown the nation that people from different parties can still come together, that we can put the people's priorities first, and that we can deliver real bipartisan common sense solutions to the serious problems that face us. The state will use $1.1 billion to replenish its unemployment insurance trust fund. This keeps it solvent and stabilizes insurance rates for the next two years. $800 million will be added to the Maryland Economic Relief Programs, $600 million for the safe reopening of Maryland schools. This will include the long-term impact of learning loss and to fund improvements to HVAC ventilation and filtration systems. $300 million will be invested in broadband technology. So the question is not how much does it cost to bridge the digital divide. The question is how much will it cost if we don't act right now? $500 million will be invested in infrastructure and transit improvements. $100 million will be added to employment training and apprenticeship programs. $100 million is earmarked for an unspecified use regarding state employees. Outdoor recreational opportunities have been a lifeline for so many during this pandemic. So I'm pleased that we are funding park and playground projects in every single county in this state. Lawmakers are already working on the plan, so when the money becomes available, it can be used immediately. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.